NetApp's Data Mover solution helps you move data from a data lake and high-performance computing to NFS so that it can be used for AI. We use the NetApp XCP migration tool to copy and complete data transfer of the large data sets. This is part two of a three-part video series which showcases how to configure and use the NetApp XCP migration tool for data transfer. This video shows the configuration of NetApp XCP migration tool and the transfer of data from the MapR file system, or MapRFS, to NetApp ONTAP NFS. Before XCP configuration, check that the NFS source and NFS export path are ready using the XCP show command. The NFS source are the MapRFS virtual IPs, 1063.150.96 and 97, that were previously configured, and the NFS export path is MapRNFS3. This step helps you figure out if NFS source is ready to be accessed by XCP. To begin XCP configuration, use XCP.ini for XCP catalog management. In this demo, XCP keeps the catalog information in NC underscore volume 1 as the NetApp NFS volume and 1063.150.213 as the data lift. Next, we use 10 parallel processes with XCP to copy the data from MapRFS to ONTAP NFS. We can have multiple source and destination network interfaces for the XCP copy operation. What's great about XCP is that you can define the number of lifts, or network interfaces, as the source and destination folders to distribute the network load across multiple virtual IPs. In this demo, we use two lifts for the source and destination folders. We transfer the MapRNFS3 TG4 data through previously configured source virtual IPs 1063, 150, 96, and 97 into the destination IPs 1063, 150, 85, and 86. Before running the XCP copy operation, create the destination folder on the ONTAP NFS volume. The name of the folder in the demo is data pipeline underscore dataset. We have already set up our source and destination volumes and folders. We do a quick check to make sure the NFS destination volume is ready to access. Another great functionality of XCP is the tool's ability to communicate with the NFS source and destination servers through the network interface. You don't need to mount the NFS source and destination volumes because the tool does it for you. Next, we check the interface utilization for the virtual IPs 1063, 150, 85, and 86. To do this, use the statistics show periodic command for each interface. You can see that IP 1063, 150, 85 is using the E3B interface, and the IP 86 is using the E9B interface. Now you are ready to use the XCP copy command to begin the data transfer. After we initiate the command, the data transfer process begins using XCP. During data transfer, you can see the data distribution. The data is being redistributed across two interfaces on the storage site. In the first interface, the transfer speed is about 370 megabytes per second. In the second interface, the XCP operation has a transfer speed of close to 700 megabytes per second. Another thing you can do during the data transfer is check the XCP established connections for parallel processes. In the demo, we log in to another controller to show these established connections with the destination IPs. When the data copy is complete, XCP displays the time it took to complete the job. To check that the data transferred successfully, you can verify that the total number of transferred files in the source and the destination are the same by mounting the destination folder. In the demo, the number of files in the MapRFS system, or source, and the NFS destination volume are both 130 files of approximately 7.3 gigabytes. The data copied successfully using XCP. That is the end of part two. To learn more about the data master solution, go to part three of this three-part video series to see XCP configuration to complete the data transfer.